Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to episode 10 of Cruising the UBC World. Celebrating in this time, Playa del Carmen. Mike, how are you? I am excited to talk about Playa, one of my favorite spots. Oh, probably one of the, everyone's <laughs> favorite spots really in the world. Definitely one of the best beaches around. Of course. So let's start talking a little more about this little city. It's not actually that big, but it's uh, bigger than a small town. Playa del Carmen is the county seat of Solidaridad, a municipality of Quintana Roo, Mexico. This iconic destination is only 45 minutes south from Cancun International Airport. Right at the heart of the Riviera Maya, Playa, as people know them, you know, is famous for its gastronomy, impressive hotels and resorts, as well as the wonderful attractions including cenotes, adventure parks and, of course, beautiful beaches. Quinta Avenida, or Fifth Avenue, is the hottest spot in Playa del Carmen and the busiest streets in its world-famous beach town, spanning 2.5 miles long from 1st Street to 40th Street, is home of the high-end boutiques, restaurants, bars, handcraft shops, and art galleries. From the many shopping centers found here, we recommend visiting Quinta Alegría, Calle Corazón, and Paseo del Carmen. Oh, being in Quinta Alegría is very nice. Have you been there? Yes, I love it. Yeah, the same, the Paseo del Carmen. Well, as well, Parque Fundadores is one of the many attractions on Fifth Avenue, a public park right on the beach with various social and cultural happenings, such as the amazing Voladores de Papantla show, which is very known in Central Mexico. In fact, Fundadores Beach is the first inclusive beach in Mexico, adapted and equipped, where people with disabilities enjoy and relax in the sea. Right next to the park is the parish of Nuestra Señora del Carmen, a very popular church for weddings. If you're looking for a fun nighttime experience, visit the 12th Street, Playa del Carmen's party zone. The best nightclubs and bars are here, Coco Bongo, La Vaquita, and Mandala. But in Playa, the party starts early, at the sophisticated beach clubs, or uh, our favorites are Carolina and Playa Mamitas and Cool Beach Club. Yeah, Playa Mamita is very nice as well. No visit to Playa del Carmen would be complete without experiencing the amazing natural parks found in the region. Let's start with the most popular, Escaret, the most recognized not only in Mexico but all over the world. With more than 50 activities, underground rivers and many other attractions, the whole family will have a great time. The restaurant offers traditional and international cuisine at night, but get ready to be amazed by their spectacular show. Another very popular park is Explore, perfect for adrenaline junkies with extreme activities such as zip lines, snorkeling, and jeep rides into the jungle. We also recommend one of the guided tours at Rio Secreto, which preserves a network of caverns expanding over 30 miles and an underground river with thousands of uh, dramatic stalactites and stalagmites in caves more than 100 feet deep. And it's time to talk about the fun facts. Well, the first fun fact we have for today is that Playa del Carmen, now at the center of the Mayan Riviera Maya, used to be a small fishing village known as Shamanja, Mayan for water of the north. Its current name, in English, Beach of Carmen, pays homage to the same patron of the city, or Lady of Carmen. Almost hidden, the Mayan vestiges of Shaman Ha are still preserved in the residential community of Playa Car. Although admission is free, it is suggested to schedule an advance to get a guide to the ruins. This was a departure point for the Mayan pilgrimage to the sanctuary of the goddess of fertility in Cozumel, Ixel. This inspired the annual sacred Mayan journey that takes place on the last Friday and Saturday of May. This ritual consists of dozens of canoeists sailing from Ishkaret, paddling hundreds of miles to Cozumel and then back to Playa del Carmen. Participants pay homage to their Mayan ancestors with this grueling expedition. Although many Mayan settlements were occupied by the conquistadors, Playa del Carmen never became a Spanish settlement. Until the 80s, the destination was considered a small Tracian town with around 1,500 residents. Tourism brought an unprecedented growth 
to a current city population of over 304,000. You know, Charlie, wow. in uh, Playa, I remember because I've been living in this area for over 30 years. And uh, Playa, they didn't allow to have a McDonald's or Domino's Pizza or any franchise. You know, they, they really wanted it to keep, keep it like a town of uh, pescadores, you know, fisherman village. But uh, then the boom came with uh, McDonald's, the first McDonald's and Burger King and the Starbucks and everybody else. Now, you know, they, they are in Playa. You find Sam's Club, Costco and the works. Yeah, you find all the different brands now in Playa, everywhere. Yes, incredible. So it's time to talk about the AMR collection and its resorts on Playa del Carmen. Let's begin with Secrets Maroma Beach Riviera Cancun. This is an adults-only award-winning AAA Five Diamond Resort located on Maroma Beach, recognized as the best beach in the world by Travel Channel. Each of the 412 suites offers a serene and romantic atmosphere, which made the resort winner of two categories of the TripAdvisor Traveler's Choice, Best of the Best as Best All-Inclusive Resort and the Most Romantic Hotel in Mexico. Dining options include tres dos. Dining options include six a la carte restaurants, a buffet and a barefoot grill. The impressive Secrets Spa by Pebonia offers a sublime atmosphere and a combination of hydrotherapy and native treatments. Secrets Mokshe, Playa del Carmen. This all-new, adults-only resort was greatly anticipated by our members. Located inside the gated residential community of Corazol, 40 minutes south of Cancun International Airport. Designed in great detail to resemble a luxurious tropical oasis, with seven pools, three artificial cenotes, and an exclusive rooftop infinity pool for the preferred club guests. 485 well-appointed room and 24-hour room service. Members and guests can choose from any of the seven exquisite a la carte restaurants. Two are beachfront, and every menu offers vegetarian and gluten-free options. The resort also has 12 bars and lounges and a very fun golf simulator in the sports bar. And now let's talk about Secrets Impression Mokshe. This property adjacent to Secrets Mokshe, Playa del Carmen, and set to open in the fall of 2022, introduces the exquisite impression concept to the Secrets brand experience. The lavish upscale resort will feature 198 stunning suites offering the highest and services and amenities, including elevated concierge and butler service, early check-in and late check-out, made service three times daily, and complimentary laundry and ironing service. Members and guests will be granted free flow access to Secrets Mokshe Playa del Carmen and will receive luxury gastronomic experiences, including the preferred club areas, which expands their dining options, additionally to the three exclusive impression restaurants they will have. We would like to mention that bookings with unlimited premiere and reward nights is an exclusive benefit for impression members, and room categories are accessible to selected membership levels as per contract. Arriving style and to any of these magnificent resorts with Amstar transfers, which ensure you a luxury and safe experience. Remember that your UVC membership offers exclusive discounts to you on airport transfers. For more information, please visit www.unlimitedvacationclub.com slash members slash Amstar. Mike, it's time to introduce our first special guest for this episode 10 of Cruising the UC World. And this time we have as a special uh, guest, Mr. Eric Freudenthaler, who is uh, the general manager of Secrets Mokshe Playa del Carmen. He's a Canadian born in Calgary. Uh, he's been 18 years in the AMR collection as general manager of properties like Secrets Capri, Secrets Maroma, Secrets Akumal, and other different positions inside the company. Now he represents two of the most uh, current openings for our company, which includes Secrets Mokshe Playa del Carmen and the upcoming Secrets Impression Mokshe. So very welcome, Mr. Eric Freudenthaler. Thank you, Mike. Uh, happy to be here. Happy to join you all. Eric, it's an honor to have you in the show. Thank you for, for being here. Thanks. Let me ask you a question. I mean, the Secret Resort has uh, 
This, this resort has distinct specialty restaurants from the rest of the other secrets. We know that. But out of the seven restaurants, like, which one is your favorite and why? Oh, um, you know, I think it's really relative to personal taste. Uh, each guest has, has, uh, has their own uh, little thing that they're looking for. I think a lot of people, they come looking for Mexican experience and we recommend the taco experience at Dos Almas, which is our Mexican restaurant. We have a mezcal bar at the entrance there and we do a nice interesting pairing uh, to make a taco experience uh, something uh, uh, out of the norm. We also have a, a, a unique concept, which is our Ember restaurant, uh, where our menu is all about fire. It's a very uh, distinguishing uh, area, the, 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 the decor is all about carbon and wood and uh, all the aspects of fire and the, the menu and recipes are all around uh, using fire. So it's very different cuisine, very different uh, concept that I think people will enjoy uh, trying a bit and, and uh, using. And then we have your typical ramen at our Suki restaurant uh, where we have the best ramen in town. Uh, so we have quite a few options. I, I'm not going to go into all of them, but those are, are a few ideas and concepts that we have. Awesome. The environment surrounded by nature and privacy that this resort has is perfect to have a very romantic experience as a couple, especially being a secret. Why do you think our UVC members should organize their wedding ceremony or any other different celebrations at this property? Well, we have uh, quite a few different uh, areas in the hotel. It's touch points. Uh, it's a dramatic environment that we have here at the property. Uh, one that is a distinguishing factor is our uh, rooftop uh, sky events, sky weddings uh, uh, area we have, which is uh, front ocean, uh, eight floors up, and uh, with an incredible view of uh, Cozumel and the ocean, the Caribbean uh, uh, sea in front of us. Uh, we have a nice deck up there and an indoor venue for, for dining afterwards and dance. So it's, it's a great uh, option, something very different that others do not have. Uh, we also have your typical wedding gazebo uh, on the beach uh, for those who want to have their feet in the sand. Uh, and a mystic uh, cenote area, which also is sandy with the cenote surround, which is something very different uh, and dramatic, uh, uh, looking for something different for a wedding celebration. I think great option. Interesting. Now, Eric, besides uh, relaxing and forgetting about stress, Secret Moshe has many places other than the swimming pools and the beach. Uh, what other facilities do you offer members? Well, uh, entertainment and, and uh, looking at uh, sports activities, I, I think that we have the best theater in the company by far. We have a huge LED screen in the theater, high ceilings, uh, terraced seating. We can put on a show for 350 uh, people comfortably in a VIP setting. Uh, and our dinner as well uh, for dinner shows, uh, which we'll be, we will be doing on, on a certain basis, uh, as well as uh, circ circus style shows with people hanging from the ceilings, from the rafters, concerts, etc. we can do in, in the theater. So I think uh, entertainment wise theater, we have a great uh, spot. We also have our sports, uh, uh, a uh, bar which is unique in the central part of, of the property and we have stunning uh, swimming pools uh, that add a, a lot of different points and for those who want to get some stress out of their system uh, we got the pickleball courts which is something that is becoming a trend these days along with some tennis and bike tours for those who want to just kind of get out and, and strum along a bit but uh, I think we have a bit of uh, something for anybody who's looking for a bit of a release in, in, a, in a great atmosphere. And to live an experience with the highest level of luxury is Secret's Impression Morche, who is about to open very soon. Could you tell us more about the amenities and special areas that members staying at this property can enjoy? Sure, happy to. Um, to begin with, the, the property itself is going to be uh, 
attached practically to uh, Secrets Moshe and we'll have access to all the services in Secrets Moshe, which is an added plus. Uh, but, but exclusive to the Secrets Impression will be their rooftop that they have, uh, which would be a couple of pools up there, good sized pools, a nice deck uh, with gazebo or with uh, valley beds up there, uh, along with a bit of a fire pit and a restaurant bar, uh, which will be exclusive to our Impression guests. We'll also have a beach club area with a restaurant bar uh, on the beach, which will be exclusive to, to uh, Impression, Secret Impression. And we will also have a restaurant, which will be our Teodoro, which will be our author restaurant, uh, where we will be serving uh, set menus, eight uh, course uh, uh, storytelling menu, with pairing and we'll be leaving you uh, with a bit of stargazing afterwards. The idea is that uh, this will be uh, another level of uh, uh, comfort and service uh, in Secrets uh, Impression. Well, definitely this Secrets Impression Moksha is going to be uh, a really new standard, of course, for properties. And we want uh, definitely recommend our members to book their upcoming stay to this awesome property that will open very soon thank you very much and before you leave we want just to remind our members that uh, we will have our first very first vip event at secrets moksha playa like carmen from july 25 to july 28 and for three days they will enjoy many many activities and they will have lots of fun and discover this awesome property thank you mr eric freudenthaler for uh, have joined us in this uh, episode 10 Thank you, and look forward to seeing you here. Several unique features, such as our artificial lagoon with real sand beaches, is something that is very, very different from other properties. Look forward to receiving you here. Oh, yeah. Yes, definitely. That's very unique from every property we've seen so far. Uh, <laughs> Thank you beautiful. so much. Thank you, everybody. Look forward to seeing you. Thank you, Eric. Mike, we have a second special guest today celebrating the episode 10 of uh, Playa del Carmen. We have Marco Oliveira, who is originally from Guadalajara, Jalisco. He has been residing in Cancun for 27 years and has been working in the vacation club industry for about 38 years. He has been with UBC for the past 10 years and is currently the sales director of Secrets Moksha Playa del Carmen. Welcome, Marco. How are you doing? Hi, how are you, uh, Charlie? Very nice to uh, talk to you. And uh, Mike, how are you? Great, great, Marco. It's great to have you on the show. Thank you very much for your invitation. Well, let, let me ask you this question, Marco. Because Playa del Carmen is known for its bohemian atmosphere, excellent restaurants, fantastic nightlife. Could you tell us about the Riviera Maya Jazz Festival that takes place in, in this destination? Well, Mike, uh, listen, uh, as you know, uh, the Jazz Festival is considered one of the 10 best jazz festivals in the world and the only one to offer free admissions to all of its concerts. The Riviera Maya Jazz Festival is an important event that takes place year after year at the end of November and at the beginning of December in Playa del Carmen. Since 2003, this festival has welcomed world-class artists who come to this paradise of the Mexican Caribbean to spread happiness and delight all of its attendees. Uh, some of the celebrities that have performed on our stage include uh, some uh, people like uh, Earth, Wind and Fire, Cool and the Gang, uh, UB40, Celso Piña, George Benson, e and Armando Manzanero, just to name a few. Just uh, this jazz festival was created due to the necessity to give Playa its own cultural identity and creating an event with national and international impact. Playa Mamitas Beach Club has been the perfect venue welcoming more than 60,000 jazz fans that get together for three days to celebrate and enjoy the best of music. Wow, sounds incredible. Yeah. Definitely. Playa is a great location also for those looking to practice their swing during their vacations. Which golf courses do you recommend our members to visit while in the area, Marco? Well, 
You know, like I said uh, before, and I'll say it again, there aren't too many places in the world that have a better golf courses than Playa del Carmen. Uh, you know, yeah, of course they, they are. I mean, there's some places around the world that exist, but you know, there can be a lot of them. There's uh, designer courses here, combine uh, the bare best and most consistent weather conditions, you know, and uh, you throw in some amazing scenery beyond the courses and you pretty much have a whole package deal. You know, this is a, a couple of the, some of the best golf, best golf courses that I can recommend. One of them is uh, the, the Greg Norman design at El Camaleon in Mayakoba. Uh, another one, uh, just like a, a very few uh, minutes from uh, the Secrets Moshe is El Gran Coyote. That's a Nick Price design and uh, right in El Corazol. So this is two of, for me, two of the best uh, golf courses there is. Awesome. Now let me ask you this, Marco. If this was my first time in Playa del Carmen, what would you recommend to do for, for one activity, one full day? One full day, uh, for example, you know, uh, I will say that uh, Playa del Carmen Main Street, La Quinta Avenida, you know, it runs parallel to the shore and serves as a pedestrian walkway for travelers and locals. The avenue is lined with an assortment of street performance. You know, you got people playing different things and acting. You got great restaurants, hotels, hostels, condominiums and bars, making it one of the best nightlife spots in the city. There are plenty of souvenir shops as well as selling, uh, you know, uh, hand crabs and, and uh, little uh, souvenirs for, for, for people. Well, that sounds like a lot of fun. Now, Playa del Carmen is the second most important destination in Quintana Roo, of course, after Cancun. Why should our members choose this destination for their next vacation? Well, you know, Playa del Carmen is a fun little vacation town where everything is within a walking distance. It's located right in the heart of the Riviera Maya along the Yucatan Peninsula. Playa del Carmen is a popular vacation destination known for its beautiful beaches and coral reefs. Uh, once was known as a small fishing village. Playa del Carmen now has evolved to a trendy beach destination with a very distinct European feel, you know. So uh, it's, uh, at night you can take a, you know, a little walk through the Fifth Avenue, like I was saying, known as La Quinta and experience the, the energy of Playa nightlife. Wow, that's awesome. Definitely we have to try uh, to visit all these different uh, options that we have available, right, Mike? Oh, yeah. Incredible. No wonder so many millions uh, come every year. Marco, we would like to thank you so much for uh, joining us in this episode 10, celebrating Playa del Carmen. Thank you so much. Well, thank you very much for the invitation, Charlie, Mike. Uh, it was nice talking to you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. And now on to one of my favorite sections, Charlie, UVC Hawks. Member benefits go beyond those included in your UVC membership. This following UVC hack explains other programs accessible to you as an active member of UVC. Let's talk about RCI. UBC has partnered with Resorts Condominiums International, better known as RCI, the world's to leading provider of exchange vacation for RCI membership must be active. To offer Log in members to rci.com, use a search the engine to find your perfect you vacation. To more than You'll find the available options with the exchange in over filter. 110 and countries. once you have found your desired destination and hotel, book or confirm your vacation and proceed to pay the RCI exchange fee. Finalize the reservation process by calling UBC to cover the $250 processing fee and confirm your reservation. Now let's talk about the Lifestyle Collection. 
This program is independent from UVC and offers our members When our members join UVC, such as savings they receive a complimentary two-year membership with new lifestyle luxury resorts, hotels, more information, two providers, please log flights, on to the car rentals, golf courses, com, and so much and go to the more at exceptional prices. And select the lifestyle collection from the drop-down menu. This will lead you directly to the U Lifestyle Collection page to learn more about your benefits. If you have any questions, visit our FAQ section at unlimitedvacationclub.com slash members slash FAQ to learn more about RCI and lifestyle collection. I want to take this minute mic as usual, just to invite our members and now, to connect with us the future traveling through our email this address, episode. social media at unlimitedvc.com. Remember to write us and let us know about your favorite about places in Playa del Carmen and what you fun enjoy in the most about the way. resorts in this region. The decision is yours. Whether you want an extreme jungle adventure with rivers and zip lines, dancing and partying during the day or at night, or just having a great time on one of Mexico's most beautiful beaches. Playa del Carmen is synonymous of good times. With that said, we share with you the quote of this podcast. Good things come to those who book flights. That's right. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, definitely. That's one of my favorite uh, phrases I ever heard. <laughs> if you don't book, how is going to happen, right? It will never take place. <laughs> Mike, we want to remember our members to follow us on our social media networks. On Facebook, they can find us as UVC Dash Unlimited Vacation Club, Instagram and TikTok as Unlimited Vacation Club, and in Twitter as Unlimited VC. We remind our members as well that we are Charlie, available it was on great our to Spotify be with you channel today. with many many playlists with your favorite music so please join us and as well we want to thank you for Bye. joining us in this episode of cruising the UBC world celebrating Playa del Carmen Mike the opinions expressed in this podcast are the sole responsibility of the thank you so much and remember next time we will listen to each other we will club, talk about constituent and to the information provided in this podcast may Bye. vary at the time of listening always consult the updated information on our website or throughout our official media